Welcome back everybody um, to part two of EELS. We talked about the EE uh, standing for Eliminate Entertainment. Uh, so now we're on to the L, which is something I learned a few years ago in marketing. It was pretty fantastic for me because the L stands for leverage. And the idea behind leverage is to look for ways, now that you have more time in your life, to maximize and get everything you can out of every moment and leverage that to get everything you can out of it. So I'll give you a, a, my marketing example because this was really where I, where I learned the idea of leverage. When I first got into marketing, um, I remember writing some marketing and, and generating the marketing piece cost $1,000, let's say. And I remember generating about $1,500 worth of business. And that was pretty exciting for me because if I can spend $1,000 and make $1,500, I, I like that idea, right? Well, then I got to thinking, well, how much more can I make with that $1,000 investment? And so I started trying to tweak my headlines and tweak, tweak my body copy and, and tweak the offers I made and all these different things. And what I found is that $1,000 had the ability to make me $1,500 in profit or $2,500 or $5,000 or $10,000 or even $25,000 in profit. And so I really started getting behind the idea of leverage, right? If you're going to, if you're going to do something, Get everything you can out of it. And so uh, it, it led me into to creating marketing that was so impactful and really tweaking and testing all my different ways to leverage every penny I spent on marketing. Well, as, as things happen, that kind of bled over into the rest of my life. And I'll never forget a few years after I learned this principle and I started to leverage a lot of things. Uh, one of my guys that I worked with came into my office one day and he said, hey, listen, I need to, uh, my wife just called me and she's got a, a doctor's appointment and she's pregnant and uh, but and she wants me to go but she already has a babysitter and so if I can't go it's okay so what do you think Kyle right well I thought you know from the way he said it I said it doesn't really sound like you want to go and he said well no she's already got a babysitter she's already got it set up so you know if I can't go it's okay I mean I'd like to go and I said well if you'd like to go let's figure out a way to leverage this situation and he said, what do you mean? I said, well, if you're gonna, if you're gonna go, let's see how much you can get out of it, right? And so we had this little conversation and we devised this plan. And the plan was for him to go a little bit late and be there about five minutes after her appointment was started and not tell her he was coming, but on the way, go by and stop and get some flowers for her, right? And so that's what he did. And let me tell you what he reported to me. He came back and he said, you know what? Here's what happened. When I showed up, she was waiting on the doctor, and I walked in with flowers, and her face just lit up, right? And then I told her, you know what? I, I kind of negotiated with Kyle, and I got I, I really wanted to come. He said, but we already have a babysitter, right? And she said, yeah. And he said, well, after our appointment, you think it'd be all right if I just took you over and we grabbed a bite of lunch, maybe a little soup and salad or something, a little snack? And he said it just lit her up, right? And he, she went to her appointment, and she came out, and she was so excited. She, he still had the flowers. They went and had lunch. And then afterwards, they went home. And, uh, and he said, you, will, you can't imagine, Kyle, how great of an event that was for us. Just thinking a little bit about how can I get everything I can out of it, right? And everything he could get was just to make her so happy, right? And he said the interesting thing was not only was she really excited about it, she told all her friends about it. And as she told her friends about it, they got excited and they started looking at my, my buddy as if he was just some kind of God, right? And so the key here was this. He had taken an event that he could, right, just go, or he could leverage it and get everything he could out of it, right? And that's what we're talking about when we're talking about leverage, right? And, I, and I'll give you a couple of other examples real, real quick here because one of them that's kind of personal for me is my wife, when she gets sick, she's a little bit, a little bit needy. And, and I don't, that doesn't really sit well with me generally. I mean, you can't even get up to go to the restaurant. I mean... There's just so many things that kind of really gnaw at me a little bit, right? Well, I decided to use this leverage. I said, you know what? If she's going to be sick and I'm, and I'm going to need to be there, which I am. She's my wife and I love her. Then why don't I get everything I can out of it, right? And so I thought, you know what? No matter what she needs, everything she needs, I'm going to be there quick. I'm going to jump right on it and get taken care of as quick as I possibly can to show her that I love her, right? And so that really, that those triggers allowed me to not just do what I had to do, right? But enjoy every moment of it. 
And, and that can happen in a lot of different situations, whether, whether you're going to go play with your kids, right? Why not leverage that event? If you've got extra time and you decide to spend it with your children, leverage it. Get everything you can out of it. And believe me, if you give everything you can to your kids and, and they just get so excited and it's so, it'll fill you up so great and you feel so good about what you're doing. So this, the second thing, the second point of the EELS system is to leverage. So now we've got eliminate entertainment and leverage. And so those are the first two. And, and the third one I'm going to tell you, tell you in just a minute here on the next video is with an S. And it's going to just blow your mind. You're going to be excited about how you can use this with other people. So come back for me. That's the L. Uh, leverage. Come right back and see the third video, part three. Thanks.